G'day ladies and gentle tubers. Sorry about the clickbait thumbnail of the unboxing of a tractor because tractors don't come in boxes. So this is my Bobcat CT 2025 25 horsepower compact tractor I bought at the start of COVID. A little bit of background, my property is four acres. I have a patch of old lavender which needs to all come out and I have a horse so we're doing round yards and fencing and all of that sort of stuff and now the tractor has just hit 100 hours of operation so I thought this a good opportunity to let everyone know what I think of the tractor and well it's handled everything I've thrown at it it managed the four foot cut and fill for this round ring as well as moving about 40 cubic yards of sand and gravel it's weighted well, handles a full bucket of wet crushed bluestone without any weight or hydraulic issues. And it's low, medium and high range gearbox manages to give you the right speed when you need it. It's a nice comfortable ride and with about four hours of operation per day whilst I was building this round ring, I wasn't too adversely affected physically. Bobcat attachments and implements all seem to be of very good sturdy construction, are well balanced with the tractor and do a great job. Alright so here's a quick tour of the implements I have for the tractor and where it's kept. Got a post hole auger, that's the 12 inch auger on it. I've also got a six inch auger for, for standard posts. We got the uh, blade for leveling out the driveway and the round ring and doing a bunch of other bits and pieces. We got the carry all, which is a county line frame purchased from Tractor Sub Supplies. We've got a little video posted in the top right of your screen at the moment showing you how I put this together. Very basic construction. Uh, you can do a lot of with these things, put sides on it and vices and clamps and all of that sort of stuff, but I like to keep it nice and basic because I use it for a very large range of different things and uh, don't want to have to go deconstructing it when I need to do something different. And then we've got the uh, rotary cutter or slasher, depending on what part of the world you're from. Um, this is obviously the Bobcat branded one, which I specifically wanted because I heard that they were um, of good robust construction. This is a 60 inch and I've done a little bit of work with it up the back uh, over winter just to clear the blackberry and the ferns and things, but uh, we haven't seen much in the way of grass growth, so she hasn't really gotten a decent workout yet but it has worked very, very well in the thick bush. Uh, the other thing I'm missing from my collection here is my single tine ripper, uh, which is down in the lavender patch still uh, from ripping up the lavender patch. And then here we go, this is where she's stored. Got this funny little old barn with, with two lean-tos on it. Uh, that's half falling apart and it was built with non-treated timber so it's full of borers uh, but it'll do for tractor storage at the moment um, it just squeezes in here that's the obviously the six inch auger bit a couple of cans of diesel I've got a makeshift fold up workbench for if I have to pull anything apart on the tractor a little cupboard here with required Accessories, uh, some workshop rag, grease gun, a uh, bunch of different pins just in case I lose pins, uh, and the obligatory gear oil and manuals and a chain. She sits in here pretty nice and neatly. So at the end of the day, the Bobcat is a good bit of gear. If I had my time again, I'd still buy a Bobcat. 
I'd probably uh, buy it with the grab for the front end loader, so the extra auxiliary hydraulics as well as that articulated bucket, uh, just because I do a lot of horse manure moving and um, tear out a lot of vegetation and that extra uh, bit of operation would make all of those chores a little bit easier. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.